All right, good blessed morning, everybody. Now I got a little bit more time. I had to clear some more space out. My previous video got deleted. So, um, yeah, I woke up this morning, and um, you know, God was already saying, read Hebrews this morning. Um, and he was saying, before I can even, like, get the thought out what chapter, he was like, two, two. Yeah, Hebrews chapter two. Uh, so the reading today comes from Hebrews chapter two. And I want to... Um, start off with it's a short chapter uh about 18 verses here and i'm coming from the og version king james version so um i'm just going to do a quick read here uh from verse 15 but the entire chapter i definitely recommend you guys read for today i'm going to do a quick read here from verse 15 to 18 and it reads and deliver them who through fear of death where all their lifetime were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Now this is talking about in verse 14, you will love backstory here. It talks about that the power of death that is the devil. So you know Jesus is the way to the Father, right? So Jesus is the way that can deliver us from the fear of death which has been a lifetime subject of our bondage. Um, you know, we hear a lot of times, and I'm going to go off on a little bit here. We hear a lot of times about how people is like, well, you only live once and, you know, we all got to die. Like, they're speaking from a fear of death, you know. Um, and, and, and that's not, we know that God does not give us a spirit of fear. So they're like, I want to live it up before I die. How about you try living right before you die? You know, a, a lot of people don't like to follow God. They like to follow the um, the institution. And before I get into that, let me finish the scripture reading. So verse 16, for verily he took not on him the nature of angels. Talking about Jesus. He took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore, in all things, it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. Wow. That he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God. To make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself hath suffered being tempted. He is able to secure them that are tempted. So because Jesus was able to resist temptation, he is able to secure us that has been tempted. And verse 17 is as, as powerful as powerful as well. You know, where in all things it behooved him to be made unto his brethren that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in the things pertaining to God. So he wanted, so, you know, it, you know, he wanted, or was part of the plan, however you want to word it, to be made in our image so that he may, so that he may, it's still not better, so that he may be able to save us, essentially save us. You know, it, it's, and it's it's just amazing to think of that you know this the son Jesus went through you know all of this to reconcile us you know all right the son Jesus went through all this to reconcile us and to um, bring us back to the father reconnect us back to the father and I, I've seen it in a few churches I've been into. Um, I mean, just where it's just this, it, it's, it's, it's a circus. It's a circus, man. They're taking tithes to pay their bills. And because I, I recently just left one and they still sending me emails talking about, yeah, well, if, if, if you can't make it, you know, in and in, in, in all caps, like they're trying to threaten me. If you can't make it, well, you know, uh, you, you need to make sure that you let past it know. And I'm like, Pastor ain't my daddy. I got I got one daddy, one father who art in heaven. You know. Pastor isn't my father. I don't I don't need to check in with him. You know? Um and and, and I I thank God every day. Um, you know, 
because he really opened my eyes when it came when it comes to these when it comes to these organizations. I don't even call them churches anymore. They're organizations, man. When I saw how much money these people are doing in a month, these people are making in a year, I'm thinking to myself, like, wait a minute. How are we, you know, how are we not able to establish communities? You know, how are we able not to feed the hungry and clothe them? How are we able not to be better shepherds out here like even the one i just left uh even the one i just left that place is falling apart pastor got a new car his fiance that he'd been sleeping with <laughs> got a new car you know th there was a woman that came in the church and i really am going off on a tangent there was a woman that came in the church and um Older woman, man, she was she, brand new. She said she she used the last bit of her money to take a bus over there. And she said all she needed was $22. All she needed was $2 to get a bus pass for the week and $20 to pay her phone bill. Church wouldn't do it. Church would not do it. Like I said, it's, it's eye-opening. Um... It's, a, it's, it's re it really is an eye opener to me, you know. Um, Jesus did this really so that we may have life, so that we may know life and to have it more abundantly. And there are places that will, um, and, and there are places that that will do that to people. And it, it really, it really breaks my heart. But, you know, now is a time for change. Now is a time to really get with God and see what it's really about. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more research on it. But um, the next subject I want to get into is ties. So um, I appreciate you guys so much for wa for watching and uh, give me a little bit of your time this morning. Um, I pray the entire armor of God over you guys, me, myself, um, my family, all the viewers of this video, and now and in the future. I uh, pray the armor of you uh, over all of us so that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys have a blessed day, okay?